Now here you can see that this is the uh, inferior end of the spinal cord where you can see that this is the appearance like a tail of horse. We call it coda equina. Uh, you can see that whole spinal cord is covered by these meninges and this one is the uh, lower part of the spinal cord which is like a cone. It is known as conus medullaris. All together is this one is known as the coda equina. So this is coda equina, whole thing is coda equina and only this part is known as conus medullaris. Whole thing here is the spinal cord with its covering and you can see the nerves emerging from it. So this is the spinal cord and this is the coverings of the spinal cord. This is the covering of the brain which is known as dura mater. It's the toughest and outermost covering of the brain which protects the brain. As you can see in the covering there are various folds which makes compartments in the cranial cavity and uh, uh, the different parts of the cerebrum and the cerebellum are located in different compartments. As you can see if I invert it further you can see that there is a sickle shaped fold this sickle shaped fold here this sickle shaped fold is known as Fox cerebri this sickle shaped fold is known as Fox cerebri as you can see this sickle shape this sickle shaped fold is known as Fox cerebri this one so these are Fox cerebri this one and as you can see this is a tan shaped fold this is the tan shaped fold this one this is the tan shaped fold that is known as tantorium cerebelli tantorium cerebelli below the tantorium cerebelli here you find cerebellum and here above the tantorium cerebelli you find the occipital lobe of the brain so these are the folds of important folds of dura mater this one is the fox cerebri this one which is sickle shape and this one is the tentorium cerebelli so these are the different parts of the dura mater